You have a lot of cuts there. A lot of cuts. A lot. Do trailers always have so many cuts? Trailers do really jam a lot into a into two minutes. You know, that's kind of what their function is. Don't forget. I I I don't think there's much danger personally in making people it when people think like watch a trailer and think that oh no now you've blown the whole movie i don't think most people even really remember the trailers that they see um so i don't really worry about putting too much in only if it feels that it's somehow working you know alienating the audience i try to show what's great about the movie you have 90 seconds like if you guys are doing short films you know your trailers might be 80 seconds right or try to you know try to make a trailer that's somewhere between 60 and 90 is what i would say do you have to reveal everything in the trailer not at all and some you know obviously this is a big big topic like how much story do you give away you know but i sort of look i let the movie tell me okay I let the movie make that decision for me. If the movie gives me a plot point in the first two thirds, I usually think it's fair game to put in a trailer. Because in other words, the first two thirds is really gonna be the first two acts of the movie, right? And as long as you feel that that's not blowing any big twists, you know, I also, I do what I would call the synopsis rule right? If it's something you would put in a synopsis for the movie, like, you know, like, let's say it was at a, in a film festival, and you wrote a little couple paragraphs about the movie, would you say in the synopsis that she's 45 years old, 46 years old, you would. So if that's the case, then it's fair game for the trailer. When would you include shots that are not in the film? Because I know some trailers yeah. have shots that they don't include in the film. So I'm curious like when you would include that and why you would include shots that aren't. I try not to, you know, but so often um, I very frequently I'm on the, you know, I'm working with filmmakers and producers and somebody says, oh, we filmed this incredible scene that takes place at a, you know, a protest and we have all this great material and why don't we put it in the trailer? And as long as it's kind of, you know, it's consistent with the movie's material. It's sort of mostly accepted. As long as it's, it, it, it's, it, it represents the movie, um, I think it's okay. Um, other times I might use dialogues that have been cut out of the movie because sometimes they're so, they're too on the nose. You know, they're so obvious. Like it, let's say it's a documentary about you know, a protest, somebody might say like, I'm protesting today because of this, you know, and you'd cut that out of the movie because it's so obvious, but it would work really well in a trailer because you need to have it be so compressed. So sometimes I do look for those uh, possibilities. Um, it's not, it's not ever the first thing I go to, but I do look for that.